You know, it wasn't easy growing up in the late 2000s and very early 2010s. And the reason, well, one of the big reasons, besides, you know, the absolute collapse of the economy and a few other things, was whiny hordes of morons proclaiming that the world was going to end in 2012. The amount of conversations I unwillingly, because honestly I would have done anything to get away with them were it not for the fact that I was in a classroom and couldn't, the amount of conversations I was unfortunately witness to where people admittedly were 15 and 16, but still, you should be smart enough at this point in your life to know that it's bollocks, I certainly did. We're talking about how the Illuminati were going to bring about the end of the world in 2012. Now, you'll be forgiven for not knowing this, but the world didn't actually end in 2012. But you had to listen to so much guff between I'd say about 2008, 2009 to 2012. It was 2012 this, 2012 that. Oh, the the Illuminati and the Freemasons are going to go to war and it's going to be a huge, big event. The devil will walk the earth and everyone will want to have sex with him and then they'll all die. And it's literally was like several years of my life was just random morons with this stupid prophecy that oddly enough didn't happen. And I feel like my time was robbed from me, even though I didn't waste my time looking this stuff up, because I had to listen to this crap. And recently, we have the exact same thing happening again. Now, I'm currently looking at a Mirror article. I will be transparent and say that I don't really like the Mirror very much. I think it's a bit of a shit paper, but I don't think it's the kind of paper that lies as much as some of the other ones. Um, I, my problems with the mirror are more disgusting headlines and really bad attempts at humor that should just not have been attempted in the context of the situations they were used on. Maybe if I ever find the articles so I can back up what I'm saying, I might talk more about that. But I've not wanted to ever read the mirror properly for years. But this is one of the more reputable papers that's actually bothered to look at what these idiots are saying. So millions of North Americans are getting set for the Great American Collapse on Monday afternoon, which will see parts of the nation be plunged into darkness for minutes during the middle of the day. Um, And of course they're talking about the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse was a couple of minutes long, and people across America celebrated it in different ways. There's only one every 25 years or so. It's... Not exactly that round a number, but you get the idea. Once, uh, twice at best a generation. There was one when I was about four. But regardless, you get a bit of shadow over the world for a couple of minutes, and then the world just moves on like nothing happened. Unless you're these chimps, in which case the world's ending. The world is coming to a close. Everybody's screwed, and we're all going to die. And I'm really glad, you know, that during primitive times, cavemen and maybe like in the up until the Enlightenment period, people working in the fields probably were like, oh, no, the gods are angry with us or, oh, no, we've we've come to the apocalypse. The end is nigh um, because of the eclipse because they didn't know what was happening. But we know what an eclipse is now. Scientifically, we've known for centuries that it is just the moon crossing paths with the sun and blocking out lights on the earth for a couple of minutes. That's about it. Sometimes it's a eclipse of a different planet blocking the sun. That has happened once or twice. But apart from that, it's just that. It's nothing. Fast forward to these <laughs> people in the year 2024, where we're at a point now where we're making our own bit of life, and apparently TikTokers are saying that there's a 
torrent of wild conspiracy theories surrounding Monday's eclipse. Some of the pseudoscientists claim that the eclipse actually means that the end of the world is nigh, starting in Carbondale, Illinois. I don't know why the end of the world is starting there, but apparently it was, but it didn't, because obviously that's stupid. Um, and apparently, according to the mirror, all of our oil-based and nuclear-based and water-based and wind-based electricity will cut off because the sun's been blocked out. Now, solar panels might be affected, sure, but apparently the world's power was going to go out because electricity gets its orders from the sun, and without the sun's import, it doesn't know what to do and just stops working because that's how electricity works. If, you know, you skipped all your science classes in high school to sniff paint thinner behind the school, um, there's going to be mobile phone disruptions. Um, you need to buy necessary groceries because without the sun, they'll just evaporate. And... Lo and behold, this was all a massive grift. Apparently, the guy who said this sold all this stuff conveniently, and his stuff was, um, well, immune to the eclipse, but everybody else's stuff would just disintegrate on the moment that the sun got blotted out. And there's a bunch of these stupid conspiracy theories. I'm not going to bother... Um, reading them all out, because some of them are like uh, superpowers based on... <laughs> apparently the show heroes was gonna happen i think that's where this one came from i think they just decided oh well you know the solar eclipse is going to give people superpowers because we live in the heroes universe now uh that would explain why i've been able to hear people's thoughts all day um then you've got this one where apparently the powers that be are gonna wait for the eclipse to trigger their evil master plan because we live in a cartoon. Um, I don't know what advantage you'd have during an eclipse uh, that wouldn't also be a disadvantage to you unless you'd really planned ahead based on something that actually was scientific and true, but as we established, none of this is. And I just, I just want to say, really, the contempt I have for these fear-mongering fools like, most of these guys, like Alex Jones, I know for a fact, doesn't believe anything he says. He just wants people to be afraid and be angry and be hateful. That's all he does. Um, these TikTok guys are a grift. Um, and some of these people are just really stupid and don't know any better. Some people just enjoy spreading fear, mostly to children. They like telling children that they're all going to die. And then these kids waste years of their life growing up terrified that they're going to die. And that's the sort of thing that these people get off on. That's their idea of fun. Some of these people legitimately believe it. And I hate them just a little less because they are just poor gullible idiots. But, you know, it's really nice that we've had how many centuries now of scientific advancement where, you know, from the Middle East to here to all the way out west and whatever else, We've had scientists discovering new things every day and learning more and more about how the world works, how space works, how equips, sorry, how eclipses work, equips as what the fuck. Um, yeah, we've learned so much and it's all for nothing because some guy on TikTok says it. And it baffles me that like we live on a planet that learns nothing from century to century. It really does. And I don't understand how people are so stupid that they buy into these end of the world theories. If you ever look at the World Mission Society of God, for example, they've had an end of the world theory every, I think, three years for about the last 50 to 80 years. I can't remember how many years it's been specifically, but it's been quite a few decades since World War II or just after it. And do you know how many of those end-of-the-world dates were accurate out of, like, I don't know how many they've come up with at this point? Three. The world only ended on those three, and the rest of the time it was uh, complete bollocks. I'm kidding, of course. For those of you who are that slow that you think the world did end three times in the last century, it did not. Um, <laughs> you know, for the InfoWars uh, audience. But I've... 
really found these people to be unlikable. Um, they're usually smug people who have no education and just want to be right about something, I've noticed. And honestly, when people do get educated in life, they don't flock towards this stupidity. It tends to be the people who failed high school and bought their diplomas from Walmart tend to have these ideals. But the thing that annoys me the most is how utterly humorless these people are when it comes to being proven wrong. Like, when we got to 21st of December 2012, end of the world day, everyone went to the end of the world forums to say, I think you were a bit wrong with your prediction. And you know how humorless the people there were. Absolutely. Well, you know, it wasn't real. It was just a joke, guys. We only just, we only parroted on about it every day for the best part of five years. For a joke, it's not real, you know? It's, it's just a joke. And it's really pathetic that these morons can't even be wrong and admit they're wrong. They have to act like, oh, it was... We only went around spreading fear for the best part of five years as a joke. And we only acted like we really believed it as a joke. It was a goof, guys. A gag. That's why we made it our entire identity for five years. Like... <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't know if this will ever stop. If these people will ever grow up. But I doubt it. Because they're all stupid. Or they're all malicious or grifters. And quite frankly, I... I have so little patience for it. I just love pointing and laughing at these people whenever they are inevitably wrong. Professor Curious is okay.